The main feature of BME AI Studio is the ability to train machine learning algorithms for the BME 688 gas sensor. These algorithms enable the sensor to handle many different use cases. With the help of BME AI Studio, we can create and train custom algorithms for our specific use cases based on our recorded gas data. We can create and try out multiple algorithms, each with a different databases and different settings for the training. After the training, we can compare the performance of the different algorithms, choose the one algorithm that performs best, and then deploy it on the sensor. I'm here in AI Studio within My Algorithms. I don't have any algorithms yet, so let's select New Algorithm to create a new one. First, let's give our algorithm a nice name. I'll call it Coffee or Not, because in our example, we want to enable the BME 688 to detect coffee beans. We want the sensor to be able to say, this is coffee, and this is not coffee, this is just neutral air. So this means our algorithm needs to be trained to distinguish two cases, coffee and neutral air. The way we can set this up in our algorithm is to create two classes for our two cases. One class always represents one case, one possible outcome. The algorithm should be able to distinguish. We then add recorded gas data to each class, which will be used for the training. So in our example, this would mean we have two classes for coffee and for neutral air. And we add all our recorded gas data of espresso and filter coffee to the coffee class and all the gas data of neutral air to the neutral air class. Let's do it in AI Studio. Select Add Class and call this first class coffee. Below here, we can see all the specimens from our specimen collection. We now select all specimens that we want to use for the training of this class. So let's select the two specimens, espresso coffee and filter coffee. We can also give our class a color and hit save. Now let's do the same for our second class. Select add class again and enter neutral air as the name. Select all the other specimens that we recorded for neutral air. Let's make this one blue and select save. That's it. Below our classes, we can see how the gas data is distributed between the two classes. This should be balanced, and in our case, it looks pretty good. Below that, we can define which data channels should be included, as well as define some additional settings for the training. But let's leave everything at the default setting for now, which is always a good starting point for a first training. Finally, to start the training, simply hit the train button and off we go. BME AI Studio is now using the recorded gas data of our specimens from our two classes to train the algorithm. During the training, we can see a graph with training curves for accuracy and loss. As the training progresses, typically accuracy should go up and loss should go down. Both accuracy and loss are shown twice, for the training and the validation data respectively. Ideally, there shouldn't be a big gap between these two curves. Alright, the training of our algorithm has already finished. 